Welcome back to my firm review. Today, I'm going to analyze a German film which named the lives of others. It was been released in 2006 and directed by director Florian Henkel von Donnersmack. The main actors in this film are Alrich Muhe. He acts as Dirk Wessler, who was ordered to spy on the playwright George Dreamman, ex by Sebastian Koch, and his girlfriend Krista Maria, ex by Martina Jedak. At first, Caption Jared Wilsler is a responsible Stacy whose specialty is interrogations. Besides that, he also lands a job teaching spies as a lecturer. One day, his superior, Gubitz, ordered him to have a spy on a playwright named George Dreamman and his beautiful actress girlfriend, Kristen Maria. At the beginning, Whistler wired Dreamman's apartment for an elf's dropping and this operation was named as Operation Last Law. During the operation, he felt sympathetic to the couple because one of his superiors takes a liking to Kristen Maria and the couple forced to be separate. Well, at the other side, three men's friend Albert Jerzyka, who is a blacklisted critical director, gave him a sheet's music of Sonata for a good man. Shortly afterwards, Jerzyka had committed suicide. This could also make Whistler felt hesitated to help three men. After that, three men and his friends decided to publish an anonymous article in a waste German news weekly using a miniature typewriter with a red ribbon. Grubitz, in order to get evidence, he arrests Christa Maria, which is Dreamman's lover. Unfortunately, Maria realized that Dreamman will know she betrayed him and run away from the apartment. When Grubitz removed the floor, however, the typewriter is gone, which Wilsler have removed it before the search team arrive. Unaware of this, Maria runs to the street and right into the path of a truck. Truman shock and Maria dies in his arms. Finally, Grubitz told Whistler that the operation is over and he will continue his second half of life remaining as a postman. Two years later, something had happened on Truman to Whistler. And what do you think is that? In the analysis for this film, I will basically talk about its principles of firm form. Among them are function, similarity, and reputation, and development. So, what's the function of the character? The character Jerk Wilsler used to function as a spy to track the journey of George Dreamman and his actress lover Kristen Maria and what's motivated him to continue the operation. Whistler found out that actually the couple is more pity for him. This had made him to have the motivation to take more observation on them. Next is the similarity and reputation. So in this firm, it has used the similar chair and the same carpet on the chair when Whistler is questioning Kristen Maria. The reputation of scene recalls back what also happened on Prisoner Number 227 at the beginning of the film. This could let the audience know the same thing would happen to Kristen Maria if she didn't obey to the constructor. Lastly is the development. At first, 
Jared Whistler acted as a very strict and highly skilled officer. After he joined the Operation Laszlo, he started to get sympathy of the couple and he satisfied himself by bringing any anonymous postman in the end. So now it's our description time. So in my opinion, I really admire Jared Whistler in this film because, for me, a true hero doesn't need any obvious praise in front of people and they just know that their actions are worth it and that's enough. Therefore, I think that Jared Whistler was really a successful people. Other than that, I think this film is quite realistic at this time because nowadays most of the people is being forced to do something that they don't want to do and also they see money more than anything. So in the conclusion, I'd like to recommend this movie to you guys as this German film is quite nice. That's all for my film review today. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.